Yeah, I drink. Um, I'm just being selective right now because during this COVID, I've been drinking like three, four days out the week. Ah, so, <laughs> so now you no, you can. It's, 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 but yeah. So now um, you're slowing down. Yeah, I'm taking a break. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. How about you? How often you've been drinking since the COVID? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everything. Wine is my preference, but yeah, we we drink a lot here. Wine is great for the for the heart, but more than anything, uh, it makes you feel good. <laughs> and sleepy. I mean, you definitely um get that real deep rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna like called like we were gonna have Jancy and Raymond and Nani and every I'm like oh shit I thought that's what I thought. Oh I'll, I'll actually be able to to set that up um maybe for Sunday night or maybe like nine PM. The only thing is that I have to like um cross reference with everyone like hey you're available for nine PM. You available for nine PM or does he know that it'll have to be the following weekend. Nani pero tu lleno de cana Como? <laughs> <laughs> That's all in the valley. <laughs> Nothing up in the mountains. <laughs> my mom used to think that uh, I was dying my hair. <laughs> like dying it white? Like gray? Yeah, and I'm like, mom, like seriously? Like, I, I mean, some people do that. <laughs> but no. It looks, yeah. it looks good. It doesn't look bad. Well, I, I appreciate the compliment. Well, you don't have any grades, as far as I see. And, and hello. That's what uh, Tinte does for you. Hello? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I do. I have to get, I have a, a Michonga right there. And, uh, nope. Nope. Gotta... Oh, wow. You know, the day that you decide to let it just show, pe ladies are going to be so envious because there's girls that are in, like, their 20s. Uh, that they dye that little, like, little lines just to uh, make it look stylish. And it's like, no, you got to earn that. <laughs> in, in my case, since I was a teenager, no. But now I have a patch right now. I'm like, really? It's not that much, but I'm like, nope. Cover it. Wow. Yeah. Not for nothing, but you and your sisters know how to get down when it comes to getting that hair done. I, I remember when there was days when I would go out to, to the Heights to be like, hey, we're gonna hang out. Like, yeah, yo, um, my sister's still in the salon. It's her turn. And I'm like, really? Like, but then I learned that it's like, okay, y'all can't all do it at the same time. Y'all gotta take turns at the salon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless we do it with different people. Claro. You know? Yeah. Well, Dominican ladies know how to really handle that, period. Like, I still haven't seen any salon that's Dominican go out of business because they suck. No, they had to close because they retire or something like that, but not for those reasons. Wow. Be like Besides wine, what's your, what's your poison? Like, what's your, what's your go-to? Um, tequila. You talking about, you talking about liquor? Yeah. Yeah, tequila. I like Casamigos. Wow. You don't drink tequila? Nope. I respect tequila. I've respected it since I was 21. On my 21th birthday, uh, two of my, well, one of my best friends, she took me out with one of her homegirls. She said, look, you're 21. You're going to try tequila. You're going to take a shot. But get for so I was falling asleep after a half hour. I was a lightweight. Oh, really? Not even that <laughs> Don Q is good. It's take. I'm not gonna front when it's in a drink. It's uh like mixed. Una margarita, like I can handle. Yeah. But I see puro, me da miedo. I mean, yeah, we 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 do shots sometimes, but yeah, we try to do like the margaritas and stuff like that. Like tomorrow, we're gonna go out for my, mommy's birthday tomorrow, and we're probably gonna have some margaritas. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That's why they say happy birthday when I um message your mom. Because Facebook be getting birthdays all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it was. It, I saw it. It was because today, right? Or yesterday? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, it's not her birthday. And people were saying happy birthday. I'm like, okay. 
I guess she did it purposely. Like, I would do it purposely. I don't want nobody to know. You know, that's your information. You don't want people to know that it's your birthday. You know, your date of birth. You know. But it's, uh, it's something personal. Yeah. And there's boundaries. <laughs> yeah. She probably didn't know when she put that date. Ironic enough, she has the same birthday as Emmy. As who? As my second oldest brother. Who my, uh, who's that? Emmy. Oh, Emmy. That, it was his birthday? Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, how old? That's a good question. <laughs> I know he's about a, either a year or two years older than Jesse. I'm going to be honest. I suck at birthdays. I'm, I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. I mean, I know my kids. I know my sisters. I know my mom. But besides that, my nephews and stuff, I do. Not all of them, but I do. Well, you're doing better than me because the only person's birth, well, the only people who get to stay in my memory when it comes to birthdays is your kid, your daughter. my wife and my daughter. Mm. <laughs> and this because it's so easy. My daughter's birthday is two months after us, and it's on the 15th. My wife's birthday is a day before me. So hers is the 16th? Yep. And you have the 17th? I'm sorry. Um... My wife's birthday is a, a day after me on the on the 18th, oh, together okay. with her mother. <laughs> oh, so everything is like right there. So you, don't mm -hmm. have to, you don't have to remember. It's like, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though. That's good. And she's in the house? Yeah, right now she's um she's working on uh, redecorating my daughter's room. I'm aprovechando on this COVID and redecorating the whole apartment. That's good. Oh, you live. I thought you, you live in an apartment or house. No apartment. Okay, two bedroom. Yes. That's good. It's a two bedroom, and before our living room, we have a we have an additional room that's for like storage and stuff. So I decided to just use that as a, as my studio. Oh, that's good. That's good. All that all that equipment must have been expensive, right? If I would have done it all at once, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, that's what, you, took, you took your time and getting it, you know, okay, here and there. For sure. Um, and at the same time, I also built all of, all of my equipment. I built my speakers from scratch. I built my computer, my shelves, my desk, everything. Oh, you did it yourself? Yeah. Handyman. Hi. Pretty much. Uh, I don't know if you ladies know, but I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> As much as, I mean, me gusta la, la, la chelcha, but at the same time, I also like, um, I'm very uh, technical when it comes to like, uh, you know, crafty stuff. Uh, even though I used to DJ, what I used to do is um, when I wanted to upgrade my equipment, I would buy stuff that didn't work, fix it, sell it, and buy new DJ equipment. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Are you still DJing? No, I, I've uh, stopped DJing about 11 years ago. Yeah. Uh, now I just DJ for fun. Like, if there's parties and, you know, I, yo provecho, I'll bring my music. People still ask me to bring music to play and whatnot, and I'll do um, even karaoke parties. Oh, that's good. But you, you have all types of music. Yes. Now, now that you asked that question, um, as much as I've always loved the uh, Dominican music, since I was a kid, I was a hip hop head. Me too. I am. It's, it's hard not I'm to. The only one. Oh, I think I'm the only one. Yep. Hold on. This is Junaidi. Let me see if she's available. If she's, if she's home. Tato. You still in the beach? You still at the beach? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I know you got soap. You got wet. Yeah, yeah. Get All right, I'm on a Zoom with Manny. Say hi. Can you see him? Can you see him? I see him. Hi, Manny. Hola. Hey, cousin. Oh, <laughs> bye. bye. I'm on. Bye. You want me to send you the Zoom so you could get so you could talk to him? So bye, because I'm on a call. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I remember. I I do remember that. Um, back when you were listening to um, 
I remember at that time when I first found out that you were like really into hip hop, it was all about rough riders. You didn't know. Come on now. Yes. You worked at you were you worked at a register at a supermarket. And it was all about Rough Riders because they were all over the radio. Jesus, you remember that? Yeah, man. <laughs> I was only, yeah, the other girls, they're not into, no, sorry, they're not into um, hip hop. Junetti is more into bachata. Wanda, Wanda likes a little bit of everything bachata, salsa, stuff like that. But I'm the one, I'm the hip hop, RB. But I wow. like Spanish, of course. Yeah. Oh, so you're I, I run it. Yes, for sure. Uh, Ma'am, I mean, from the old school to a lot of the new school. I've, I've been I've been getting shocked, you know, for the past three or four years because I've done my research. And I, I think we reached to a point that um, there's so many avenues of music. It's hard not to find something you like, even if it's old or new. Porque está por todas partes. That's true. That's true. So, who's your favorite uh, right now? New. Right now, Drake. I'm really into. Um, no, no. Drake is not even on my top ten. Oh shoot! You heard that, Jayla? Because my daughter's a hip hop head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Drake. I'm not mad at Drake. <laughs> that's um. That's something that me and Raymond always discuss. Sometimes he says, "Oh, I know you don't like him." It's like, wait a second. He's not on my top 10. Still doesn't mean that he doesn't make good music. He makes he good does. music. He, I look at him as someone who has a, he gives a venture for a lot of other hip hop artists to have a venue. He's like that middle ground that he's able to put other people on. Mm. If you ever seen like him, whenever he does performances, there's always somebody else featuring with him, which is really cool. So in that aspect, I think he's very crucial to, to hip hop. 